when we look at graphs of functions, we want to have an idea where at or on which interval is a function increasing or decreasing or being constant. I have over here on the right side, I know a lot of stuff for you to allow your eyes to adjust. I have three representations of a, of a graph over a specific interval. So let's look at this top one here to begin with. Notice that as I go left to right, the graph is always increasing. So over that interval, we would call that an increasing function. Basically where I have any f of x1 is less than f of x2, my f1, my f of x1 is lower than my f of x2, when my x1 is less than my x2. When that happens, those successive, successive points along my x-axis are continually to increase. Likewise, we have a decreasing function, which means every move along my x-axis is my graph getting lower, is it decreasing? We would call that a decreasing function. And then likewise, not likewise, but we also have a constant function. For any successive points of my x values, my y value is exactly the same. It's a constant. It stays horizontal, parallel to the x-axis over that given interval. So we can have graphs that are increasing, decreasing, and constant. Uh, let's look at another graph to kind of get a sense of what's happening here. Uh, let's look at uh, f of x uh, equals 3x, 3x squared minus 3x minus x cubed. That graph roughly looks like this. Roughly looks like that. So this graph, is it increasing, decreasing, or is it constant? Well, you're going, wait a minute, Willie. It's doing everything in the world. It's all over the place. Well, so we need in this case, we need to look at what's happening on specific intervals. Can you look at this graph and decide, well, you know, it's increasing at one part, decreasing at another, and so forth. So let's break it up on intervals as we move left to right. So for example, I have on this first interval, I see the graph from left to right is decreasing. So for from uh, negative infinity to zero, over that interval, my graph is decreasing. Even though I have an arrow pointed up in that direction, remember, all that arrow is telling me is that that graph continues on in that direction forever. But as I'm going left to right, it's coming from forever down towards zero. At zero, it changes directions. And then I have another interval from zero to one, two, where my graph is increasing. And then lastly, from two to positive infinity, my graph is decreasing. I'm not expecting any other changes because these arrows tell me that this graph is continuing in that fashion forever. Uh, so I don't expect it to change what uh, change or do anything weird down there. This is where all the interesting and fascinating stuff is at. So again, we can look at a function and over specific intervals describe is it increasing, decreasing, or just being constant.